Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to give you guys a tour of my stationery cards. I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen this before in my room tour video, but I recently reorganized it, so I just want to show you guys how it looks like right now. As you can see here, I have two different cards, and we will start from the first one. We're going to start from the top layer, so in here I have this tray which I use to put my sticker sheets. And behind it is actually an organizer that I recently made myself. I use cardboard to make it, and in here I store a lot of sticky notes, some sticker booklet, my sticky note booklet, and also different kind of memo pads and notebooks. I really want to display my stationeries because it makes me happy whenever I see them, so I decided to make this kind of display. I really want to display my stationeries because they make me happy whenever I take a look at them. That's why if you see my room, it kind of looks like a store. I got the inspiration for this display from Instagram. I actually see a lot of Korean prop shop or stationery shop using this kind of display. The difference is that they usually use wood, but I feel like using wood will be kind of hard to make. And also, wood does not really fit the interior of my room, so I decided to use cardboard which is much easier to get. And then I cover it with white contact paper so that it will fit the interior of my room. For the tray that I used to store my sticker sheets, it was originally red in color, but since red doesn't really suit my room, I decided to cover it with washi tape. And next to it, I have this tray that I used to store or put my plus decorage. That's all the things that I put on the top layer. Now let's move on to the second layer. This is what the second layer look like, and it is actually the place where I keep a lot of stickers. Starting off from the left side, I have this paper organizer. I made it myself, and inside I just put some memo pad or memo paper, sticker flakes, and also my Pilot Coletta refill. Next to it, I have a container that I use to put some sticky notes. Most of the sticky notes come from the same brand or company, so they have somewhat similar packaging, so I just decided to put them together since I feel like they look better that way. And now on the right side, I first have this two huge washi tape sticker roll. I also have some stickers that I cut out myself. And then behind it, I have this box that I use to store my sticker flakes. And behind it, I have the sticker sheets that I made myself. So I just cut out the sticker myself and then I stick them onto an anti-stick paper. And these are the three designs that I have right now. In front of all of the stuff that I just mentioned before, I have this organizer that I use to organize my cutout stickers. A lot of you guys asked me about this, but unfortunately, I didn't make it myself, and it was actually a container for wooden alphabets, so I cannot really provide you guys with a link to that. I'll try my best to shoot a tutorial so that you guys can also make this yourself, but I feel like you guys will probably need to wait for quite some time since I still have some videos that I haven't uploaded yet. Now let's move on to the last layer of my first session record. So on the last layer, here I put some empty containers, and inside of this tin box, I also have another kind of containers and organizer. Last, I also put my hair straightener that I use for crafting here. I actually also hang some stuff on the side. So on the side here, I hang some keychain. If you guys want to know how to make it, I actually have a tutorial explaining how you can make it yourself. So I will put the link to it down below or put it in the info card. Other than that, I also hang some of my resin keychains here. 
don't know why, but I feel like I have some sort kind of obsession toward keychain. As you guys can see here, I just have so many of them. But it's just that they look so pretty, so I always keep wanting to collect and make more of them. And now, let's move on to my second stationery card. On the first layer, this is where I store most of my markers, brush pens, pens, pencils, highlighter, etc. Basically, my writing utensils. And I feel really happy and proud whenever I take a look at this layer, and the reason why is because I feel they look so colorful and so pretty at the same time. Other than that, I feel like this layer looks the most like stationery stores to me because in stores they usually store or display their pants like this. Other than writing utensils, I also store my Delioku Dako tape here too. So that's it for the first layer, now we will go on to the second layer. And as you can see, this is the place where I store most of my sticky notes and also my memo or notepads. Other than that, I also keep my wood alphabet stamp here, and next to it, I also keep the ink pad that I usually use for stamping. Moving on to the right side, here I store some random stuff. So inside of this box, I store this washi tape sticker rolls, my gold paint, and also some sticky notes. So those are all of the stuff that I have on the second layer. Alright, so now let's move on to the last layer. This layer is not as organized and I don't really use this layer as a permanent storage. So behind there, I actually store some envelopes and also some spare notebooks. Next to it, inside of this paper organizer, I just have some stamps, tape holder, pens, and some random stuff. Next to it, I also have these huge rolls of deco tape. And in front of it are some props or things that I will use for shooting videos. I usually already plan what kind of videos I want to shoot that week. So I will try to set up everything before the actual shooting day. And I usually put the stuff that I think I will use in that video in a tray or plastic container like this. So when it's time for the actual shoot, I don't really need to waste a lot of time searching for the props. And here, I also hang some stuff on the side. So I have some fake flowers, more keychain, and underneath, I have this plastic container that I use to store some sticker flakes. And that's it for the tour of my stationery card. Here are both of them when I put them side by side. And please note that I don't display them like this to brag about them, but rather because they make me feel happy, because I really enjoy the feeling of going into stationery stores and looking at my stationeries being displayed out like this, I actually feel like I'm inside of a store, so they make me feel really happy. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in my next video. Bye!